Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Trey from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Neon Genesis Evangelion Rei Ayanami Goth Loli Nar version. This is from Kotobukiya, limited edition at that. Yeah, hey, look, let's look at the box. I like the box. It's kind of neat. Rei Ayanami. If you know NGE and Neon Genesis Evangelion. Kotobukiya is a nice little shop. I used to shop at there a lot when I was over in Japan. I had to talk for the box. Uh, classical NGE. It's backwards. Upside down. Side of the box. Yeah, I love this. I wish I got the black version, but hey, I, I can't find the darn thing. So I got the nice little red version. Yeah, that's more goth. <laughs> Lollicon, you know. Nothing in the bottom. Hey, let's look at the figure. I mean, hey, that's what's awesome. I like this thing. It's kind of neat. What can I say? Let's see. Comes with a detachable hat. Hats. Very Barbie esque. PVC. Yeah. So, there you go. Like, cute little hat over here. Let's look at the detailings on that. If you want, it, I can just rotate this. I don't have that neat little rotating thing, so I'm just going to rotate it nice and slowly so you can see it from every angle, including the nice little upskirt angle right there. Yeah, I'm doing a good job of that. Uh, I'll show you the other detailings too so you can see. The arm does come off and there is a little paint that are paint apps here that are kind of rubbing off so you can see some of the paint on her freaking girdle waist whatever the little 18th century Lolita looking thing is so there you go have I rotated this fast enough I don't know here we go we're almost done <laughs> yeah I need to probably buy one of those stands there you go nice little 360 degree I like the detailings on this I mean it is a PVC figure you got a hat <laughs> Yeah, as I found Q, the arm does fall off. No joke. I don't know. I think it's just for... I'll put that to the side. It's just for posing. Uh, there's a piece of the sidewalk, how she's just so nonchalantly just dribbling on that. Don't know if that's supposed to be there. I hope it's not blood splatters. I don't hope it's supposed to be like that. Uh, good detail on the concrete. Cracks and all. Cracks actually... Yeah, yeah. They spent some time on the freaking broken concrete. For the fig figure herself when the arm's not falling off and maybe it's just my copy there we go <laughs> yeah it looks pretty good they that's ray at her finest with her humongous freaking ugly blood red eyes and the cross yeah crucifix i didn't ever notice that before a little choker crucifix yeah great detail a nice red figure white bows very gothic 18th or 19th century victorian era looking goth little knee-high socks or by it passed over the knee. <laughs> Look at that. That's beautiful on the white little boots. I like that detailing on that. Look at that blue flowers. Uh, the paint apps that I was talking about was rubbing off here on her corset. There, I said it. Figured it out. So you got different colors there. I mean, it's okay for what it is. Kotobukiya isn't known for slouching on the on the colors over here. So other than the freaking arm falling off, I really like the figure. It looks good. Poses really well. So. There you go. And of course she accessorizes with that cute little hat. Voila. I mean, what more do you want from the girl? 8 out of 10. And I'm hoping those are really paint spotches. Alright, that's all I got, YouTubers. And Oh yeah, for size comparison. I think he, she's 1 7th scale, 1 6th. Or, no, it's not 1 7th. 1 7th scale, there's Megatron. So she is, uh, I know she's reclining, so I'm imagining she'll be like 9 inches tall. So it's 1 7th scale. That's all I got, YouTubers, and I'll catch you all next time.